All right, guys, quick little uh, little video, little project I'm working on here. We've got a couple boxes here in the back of the bourbon. Uh, we have a 1,720 pound capacity, four by eight foot Hallmaster trailer. Uh, this is the quote unquote super duty trailer from Harbor Freight, but of course, it's a Harbor Freight trailer, okay? So uh, nobody's fooling themselves with this. This is not a super duty trailer, um, but it is, from what I can tell from reviews and, and, and knowing people who've run this thing, um, it's a decent trailer, especially for what I'm gonna be using it for, uh, which is just to basically make one trip up to Idaho. This is gonna be a secondary trailer that my wife's gonna pull behind her Ford Explorer. Um, and it says 1,720 pound capacity. We're probably only gonna put about 1,000 pounds on it. Um, it's affordable. These things, regular price is 400 bucks, but you can pick them up regularly on special for about 320. Um, it's just a, a cheap, affordable trailer that uh, will probably do the job for as long as I need it to, to do the job. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and crack everything out, open it up, start getting it put together, and uh, we'll see how this thing comes along. All right, so here we are at kind of the halfway point. Not really. It's a little more than halfway done. I mean, it's pretty much complete as is. Um, this is the way they show it, basically, except I don't have the lights installed yet. I'm holding off on that probably till the end. Um, and I'm going to do a real quick little plywood deck with just some real basic side railings around the edge, just two by four side railings. Nothing nothing uh, too special at all. Just real, real simple stuff. Um, but there's uh, one thing I want to show you guys real quick. If you're thinking about putting one of these together, First off, um, pay very close attention to the instructions, not because you want to follow the instructions to the letter, but because sometimes the instructions are wrong. Um, sometimes they tell you to put something together in a way that doesn't make sense because they got you putting one piece together when you haven't attached it to another piece, and so you have to partially take it back apart to attach it to the other piece, um, telling you to use the wrong screws at the wrong places. They have several different size bolts that come with this thing, so just pay close attention to it and use common sense. Also, uh, you'll notice I got all these black spots all over the trailer. Um, basically, there's a, a lot of bolts that hold this thing together and you really, really wanna torque them down as best you possibly can. But on top of that, they're all bare steel and they're not stainless. Um, in addition, these uh, supports here on the side that are made to hold two by fours to give you a little bit of a support frame. Also, steel, bare steel, not stainless so you want to try and make this thing as rust proof as possible for as long as possible i mean it's eventually going to rust anyway you can't stop that but uh, a couple cans of cheap little spray paint from walmart um, just the dollar spray paint and just go over all the bare steel surfaces and nuts and bolts and anything that's exposed so that way it's gonna you know it's gonna be a little bit more rust resistant than it would otherwise and that goes with the uh, the jack up front and the hitch portion that's bolted on up there, it's all bare steel. Uh, the part that holds the fenders to the frame, bare steel. So just to spray paint all that with uh, just any color, whatever you want. I went with black and then I've actually got one can of red that I'm gonna cover the black up with so it looks uniform. But honestly, I don't care about the looks, but my wife's the one towing this one, so she kind of gave a crap. She's like, well, I want it to be red. So like, ah, fine, okay. One can of red spray paint to go on the, uh, I think I got two coats of black on, uh, on everything else but that's pretty much it here's the halfway point and uh i'll come back to it here as soon as i get it finished up all right here we are all finished up uh first up i've got it hooked up to the suburban just wanted to check make sure all the lights are working and everything is it's it's pretty much good to go i had to do a little tweaking with the wiring harness for some reason the adapter didn't want to work so i went and grabbed a, a secondary adapter and just spliced it in um, to work with uh with the hookup with the seven pin hookup on my suburban um, so got that done and that seemed to fix it whatever it was i don't know something off there from the factory i have no idea could have just been a bad wiring harness i don't know but anyway uh, you can see all the uh black spots are covered up i got some cheap red walmart spray paint that happened to match the color of the trailer exactly so you can't even tell where that stuff was um, got all that finished up got the jack on there um, this is just a standard uh, slab i think this is 11 30 seconds plywood um, just a cheap slab it cost me about 13 bucks uh, it's all bolted down. I think there are 16 bolts total holding this thing down. Um, I did coat it in Flex Seal and then go over it with some black spray paint. Now, I know it's getting a little windy out there, guys, but um, and I'll let it bake out in the sun really good just to make sure it's uh, good and ready to go. I also added some extra bolts down the, uh, the center here. Uh, bolting the two halves together because this is supposed to be a folding trailer. I don't want it to fold. I want it to be more rigid. So I added some extra bolts down here um, and just made sure that everything was good to go. Torqued everything down really well. Also, one thing uh, I had to do, and if you get one of these, make sure you do this as well. The lug nuts were not on there tight at all. They were loose. I could turn them off by hand. And they're already attached to the hub when you get this thing pull it out of the box. So 
if you don't check that, you're not going to know and you're just going to have a wheel come off. So check your lug nuts on these things. But that's pretty much it. It's all finished up, uh, ready to go. Just a cheap little $400 or less if you got a coupon for it. Uh, trailer from Harbor Freight, a little 4x8. I am going to build up some uh, some little railings here that are going to be removable. And I'm going to build them up with those 2x4s over there. Um, but this is basically how the trailer is going to be. And then everything just straps down to this. So uh, that's about it, man. There's the little, uh, like I said, $400 Harbor Master trailer fixed up and ready to go uh, as i said before check the instructions really well use a little common sense check your wiring harness check your lugs um, make sure you torque down all those bolts really good uh, that's it guys appreciate you watching you got any questions anything like that leave it down below and we will talk to you later